Now that we have completed our plant life cycle diagram, we're going to use our diagram to write an informative writing piece. And that simply means that we are talking about something that is real and we can teach others about our topic with our writing. So we want to inform the reader about the plant life cycle. The first sentence we need to write is our topic sentence. Our topic sentence tells the reader what they are going to be learning about. So a topic sentence might be something like plants have a life cycle because we are talking about the plant life cycle, right? So we could make a sentence that says plants Notice boys and girls when I write I pull my pencil down not up so remember that and also remember a little bit of space between each word and make your letters close together within the word and pay close attention to your lines as well plants have a v that e is with that v at the end a and then we can look at our title, Life Cycle, which I got right off of our diagram. Plants have a life cycle. That would be a good topic sentence because that tells the reader what we're going to be writing about. And you can do a more elaborated topic sentence if you like, but we're going to keep it very simple today. So our title is Plant Life Cycle. Our topic sentence is Plants Have a Life Cycle. So when you do an informative writing piece, you want to have your title and here's your title and you also want to have a good topic sentence okay next we need to add details we need to tell the reader what the stages of the life cycle are so we need details about the life cycle so who can give me a really good sentence and remember we want to do it in order and we're going to use words to show order like first I'll write them up here for you first then you can even use next if you want to and last those are good time order words we can use so the reader knows the right order. So what could we write about the seed? Very good, I like that. First, a seed lands in the soil. Very good. So next, what happens after that? Very good, the sprout. So now we need a sentence about the sprout. Oh, I heard that is a very good sentence going to write that. Then a sprout pops up. And 
then what? So we've got our sprout, and then we have the seedling. Who has a good sentence for the seedling? I like that. Next. A seedling. And how do we know the difference between a seedling and a sprout? So we can help the reader understand the difference between a sprout and a seedling. Next, a seedling. Yes, they have more leaves. Good. Next, a seedling grows more leaves. I'm sorry, boys and girls, if you hear my dog Charlie barking in the background. He sees his friends outside and he's wanting to go play with them. So next, a seedling grows more leaves. And then we have the last part, the adult. So boys and girls, what might we want to include with the adult plant so the reader knows the difference between the seedling and the adult? You're right, the flowers, very important, because that's what makes the seeds. Could we put that in a sentence? Yes, we definitely need to use the words last because that is the last part of the life cycle. I like it, flowers. Bloom and make new seeds in, in the adult plant. Now all we need is a wrap-up sentence or a conclusion. Hmm, something that sums up the plant life cycle. Did I hear someone say it repeats? Yes, it is a repeating pattern, isn't it? We could just simply say the cycle repeats. Good idea. The cycle repeats. Now, let's sum up what we've learned about an informative writing piece. We have the title. We have the topic sentence. We learn to use transition words or time order words like first, then, next, and last. We also learn to include supporting details and we had one, two, three, four, supporting, and last, we learned how to use a concluding statement.